There's a lot of believers who still have a Christmas tree in their house because they still, you know, they thought, you know, just, just how is that though? If you believe, still going through, you're trying to make it like somebody who has a Christmas tree in their house is not a believer in God. They're just still following that ritual because they don't know any better yet. Once they know any better, then they'll stop doing it. So, bro, if, if the Bible says don't put a tree in your house and you do it, then that means you don't believe. The Bible uh, literally says don't do it and you do it, then what does that mean? You don't believe. Well, see, when Jesus Christ came, Hey, shalom, shalom. It's Officer Adam. I'm here with Officer Zane. We're here in Satan's seat on Saturnalia to bring some understanding to the people. Show them what this day really means and where it really stemmed from and came from. So, let's see what they think. Hey, hey, shalom, shalom. This is Officer Adam. I'm here with Keith Jackson. Antonio. How you doing today, Antonio? Doing good, brother. You excited for the holidays? Uh, I'm in the spirit. Joshua. Lily. Nicole. Deontay. All right, Zane here, and I'm with... To what? All right, how old are you, sir? Oh, 10. 10? Tasha. Nice to meet you, Tasha. How are you doing today? I'm amazing. How are you? Pretty good. Pretty That's good. good. So, so Keith, man, um, we looking at, we're looking around at our surroundings, right? We see a lot of stuff going on. What What's the big holiday coming up coming up soon? Uh, I believe uh, it's the holidays. I do not know which ones. Okay, which ones are you celebrating? You know it's the holidays. Which ones are you celebrating? I celebrate uh, each of them. Each of them. So, so can you name them? Like, which ones you celebrate? Christmas, Kwanzaa, uh, New Year. You, you about to celebrate Christmas? Oh yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. What's your favorite part about Christmas? Uh oh, when you get presents. What kind of presents are you looking forward to? Uh, maybe getting a new game, Madden. You said Madden? Twenty-four. Yeah. Okay, okay. The young man playing Madden, playing Madden. How you doing today, Deontay? Pretty good. Pretty good. That's cool, man. So, hey. We looking around DC. Um, we see a lot of we see a lot of good scenery out here. What what holiday are we are we preparing for right now? We're preparing for Christmas. Okay, we're preparing for Christmas. Okay, okay. So you celebrate Christmas? I do celebrate Christmas. Okay, so how how does Deontay celebrate Christmas? Um, well, I'm a Christian, so I think that Christmas is got to do with um, Jesus Christ. Um, you know, I I feel I still think it's a pagan holiday, so I don't celebrate. The worldly Christmas, but as a Christian, I, I celebrate um, that this knowing that you know Jesus was born a day that you know, no one no one knows, but he was born. So um, just kind of give thanks to my Savior. So how do you, how do you celebrate Christmas? How do you how you guys traditionally celebrated it? Being thankful and with family. Okay. With family. Okay, cool, cool. So you you guys don't have like a tree or presents or none of that stuff? Yeah, we have all. Yes, that. yes, we have that. Okay, okay. So what's your favorite part of Christmas? Like, what's your favorite part? Being thankful for me and my okay. family. My kids. Um, do you believe in the Bible at all? Of course I do. Okay, so how do you feel, if, if the Bible was to say we should celebrate Christmas, how, you, how would you feel about that? I feel as though that Christmas is a holiday for people to come together. I know that they say that it's a Satan holiday and all of this stuff, but I really believe it's a time of giving, a time of sharing, a time of love, and a time for joy. And anybody demonizing Christmas, I don't know, it's a problem with them, but I think it's a time of love, family coming together. I'm here with Josh, right? So Josh, right, what's, what's the holiday that's coming up next, that we, we see coming up next? Well, it's Christmas, you know, uh, I can see my family members and be able to have time with them, you know, for the holiday. Okay, okay, so so how do your family, how does Josh's family celebrate Christmas? Well, you usually uh, go to travel and we usually just get some food to eat. So do you celebrate Christmas? Uh, so... That's a loaded question because, uh, you know, my household, I'm uh, recently married. And uh, so me and my wife, we have two kids. And so, you know, our, our household, uh, as of probably a year ago, uh, has, uh, we're taking our household through an evaluation process. And that is basically evaluating uh, everything we were taught. Uh, Specifically, mainly uh, the holidays that we celebrate, uh, the origin of said holidays, and uh, whether or not it's truly a cause for celebration. What's the origins of Christmas? You know where it started? Uh, no, I have no inkling. 
Okay, so um, have you ever heard before that it was pagan, pagan origins of it? I have not. When we think about Christmas, right? Why, why, why? What, what do you have in your house? Uh, we have a Christmas tree. We have Christmas lights. We get, uh, we have presents. We think about God in our mind. Uh, we pray before and we think Christian. Cause I go to a Catholic school, okay. and we we um usually we have a party. We pray at the end of the day. We pray for Christmas to be safe, and to praise to God. Yeah. Okay, so so you don't you say it's a pagan holiday. You don't do everything. So do you have a tree in your house? I do have a tree. Yeah, actually. No, you don't have one? I don't. I, sh I I was gonna get one, but I'm here, so I don't need one. <laughs> okay, okay, that's good. That's you say you're from Chicago, right? I'm from Orlando, Florida originally, but I, I live in Chicago. Okay, so you can give presents and gifts. Do I give? Yeah, do you have give gifts on, on Christmas? I give I give like gifts to family members. Yeah. Okay, people give you gifts and stuff. I'm a teacher, so yeah, I get gifts to my students. Where did Christmas come from? Because I know we all celebrate Christmas, but like, where did it where did it originate? Bethlehem. Bethlehem. Okay. So Christmas, what you saw was the birth of Christ. You saying? Yeah. Okay. It's the book, The Pagan Origins of Christian Holidays by Alicia J. Israel. This is ver page 76. However, this anniversary was not celebrated by early Christians, nor is there a decree to commemorate Christ's birth. The important date of Christmas, as well as the rites, symbols, and figures associated with the festival actually predate Christianity. So a lot of this stuff, and as, as we said, it's, it is pagan. When uh, the, the Catholic Church came, they knew they couldn't get rid of the pagan holiday, so they transformed it into something else. But it's still rooted in paganism. So instead of saying that we're celebrating a pagan holiday, they say, oh, we're celebrating uh, Christ's birthday. So read that next page. We know it's a pagan holiday, right? So we know that the tree is a symbolism for, you know, the pagan roots and all that. So, so then my question would be, you know, why do we celebrate it then? It's part of the tradition of the, uh, the world in different places. Okay, what about you? I, I celebrate, I was brought up celebrating it, and I'm able to separate the meat from the bones, and I don't uh, celebrate, I don't think Jesus was born on that day. I don't think that it's uh, in any way Christian related. I just think that it is uh, a time for exchanging gifts and celebrating people and having some time off work. It's called the two Babylons because the Babylon in the past, you say you're a Christian, so Babylon in the past and the Babylon of today. So let's get, let's get some understanding on this. That Christmas was originally a pagan festival is beyond all doubt. The time of the year and the ceremonies with which it is still celebrated prove its origins. In Egypt, the son of Isis. So you're saying, it's saying the way, the way that we celebrate it today is, is on the same exact day to show that it's really the same the same celebration they did back then. So let's see what let's see what it says. In Egypt, the son of Isis, the Egyptian, title for the queen of heaven, was born at this very time, about the time of the winter solstice. So, so it's saying in Egypt they celebrated the same thing. They had Isis and her son were born around this time, and that's where they get the that's where they, the original holiday comes from, right? He going? The very name by which Christmas is popularly known among ourselves, Yule Day and proves at once it's pagan and Babylonian origin. So we're saying Yule Day, like Yule Tide, you heard all these things, things before, so we could drop that, we could drop that, but but I, I wanted to show you that, that the same thing that we did back then is the same thing we do today. So Christmas is actually rooted in paganism, right? It goes all the way back to Egypt, right? Uh, the Rome, when Rome became in power, they turned it into what's called Saturnalia, which was, we're gonna read a little bit about that, but we're gonna read this first. So listen to this. Read the, read the name of the book for him. This is The Pagan Origins of Christian Holidays by Elisha J. Israel. This is page 76. However, this anniversary was not celebrated by early Christians, nor is there a decree to commemorate Christ's birth. So it's talking about Christmas. And you know how they say, uh, what is it? Uh, Jesus is the reason for the season, mm -hmm. right? So it, it has nothing to do with his date of birth because Christ was born in the springtime, not December, right? So read. The important date of Chris, Christmas, as well as the rites, symbols, and figures associated with this festival, 
actually predate Christianity. It predates Christianity, right? So what happened was when the Roman Catholics became in power, they knew they couldn't get rid of all the, the pagan worship that, you know, the people were doing. So in order to gain them into their church, they had to, you know, morph it just a little bit, right? But we're going to, let's read about Saturnalia, right? So this is what... No, they're going to morph the, the pagan holidays so it could fit. So, so okay, for example, if you're a pagan and you've been celebrating Saturnalia your whole life and I'm coming into power, I'm saying, hey, come join us. You're like, no, that's what I celebrate. It's like, okay, you can still celebrate that, but we're going to put it under the cloak of Christianity now. Yeah. Right? So let's read a little bit about that. This is Brain 79. The Saturnalia was an ancient Roman festival that lasted for seven days, okay. December 17th through 24th. During Saturnalia, gambling, drunkenness, and sexual licentiousness was prevalent. So that's what they used to do, pretty much party, do all types of wickedness, and whatever the case may be. But now we cloak it under Christmas and, uh, you know, with getting together. We say we have to get together or whatever the case may be. But why can't you get together any other day with your family? Hold on, say that again. In the Bible, Jeremiah 20, 10, chapter 10, condemns this day that's coming up. Condemns it. What, what? For one, cut up the three out of the fours with a, with with the uh, with an axe, mm -hmm. the hands of the workmen. Right. They deck it with silver and tinsel. They nail it that it moves not. But it said, learn not the way of the heathen. What is the heathen? Right. A disbeliever in God. Now you you, you on point. Are we gonna get that? I just want to read this 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 this, this yeah. last part real quick. Please. 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 You on point. You on point. It's all about money. Read that. This is page seventy seven. In Bethlehem, there were shepherds abiding in the field at the precise time of Jesus' birth. So, um, you know how they have the, the manger with the shepherds and they have the baby Jesus with Mary and stuff like that, right? Y'all familiar with that, right, Re? It was not the custom of the shepherds in this area to abide with their flocks during the winter. So if Jesus was born in the winter, the shepherds would have been out there. So that shows you right there that that's, that's a lie right there. Shepherds sent their flocks out to graze and bought them back during the first rains. Winters in Bethlehem during December can be extremely cold and the ground covers, covers with frost or snow. This is especially true during the winter nights when winds are piercingly cold. And let me get that in Luke. So it says that it, it's super cold at that time. So why would, the ba why would they have the baby out there in an the open manger at that time? Well, and also, um, I know you're bringing up uh, facts from the past, and I appreciate it. Thank you so very much. As uh, my friend here was talking about um, in the past, too, like this time of the year used to be extremely cold. Right. Extremely cold. Now we're in December, December, what, 23rd, and it's 50 degrees out here. It used to be snow on the ground. So some things of the past are not the same as they were before now. And just to bring up like stories of the past are the past. I mean, Christmas to me is a time, you know, of blessings, you know, just a time of grace, a time of getting together. And that's all, you know, that's all I'm going to say about it. I, t I, I did teach my kid, my children about Santa Claus because I wanted them to know about just giving and just that 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 faith that faith part that's right. really what i instilled in them that that faith part and for y'all to demonize that faith yeah but so let me ask you this it's not okay so you saying it's a time for for blessings a time of belief but if this is a holiday that christ tells us not to celebrate the holiday can be however you choose it to be like for y'all to say not to celebrate christmas how about you just Celebrate it in the way that you choose to. But why not celebrate the holidays inside of the Bible instead of the pagan ones? But what about even if your grandmother or your your ancestors had a way that they celebrate Christmas? Y'all stick to those tradition, traditions. But they, our, our ancestors didn't celebrate Christmas. That's what I'm trying to show you. So you create another future for your children. Just something even if it's coming together on sundays or even if it's um celebrating i don't know the fourth of july or whatever you choose to celebrate <laughs> so whatever you choose to celebrate and however you choose to celebrate so it's a time of family getting well, jesus together jesus was a man that told no lies at all so why would we lie at all you don't have to lie you're lying if you pick a date for that man you're lying absolutely you're lying now you can sugarcoat it how you want to 
But if you pick a day for a man that told no lies at all, the man that told you, you shall know the truth and the truth shall what? Set, Set you free. But you lie? Okay. Yeah, but, but, but I mean, you put the tree up though. I do put the tree up because I yes. like the lights and I like decorating the tree with my kids. Okay. Okay, okay. So you're not you're not a pagan though, right? You're not a pagan? Are you a pagan? I don't think so. And the book of Jeremiah actually speaks on Christmas, right? So read what you got. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10 and verse 2. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. Right? So the heathen are the other nations that did not receive God's commandments, that did not keep them. So it says, learn not their ways. Don't do what they do, right? So what, what, what is it that they do? Let's read that. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. Okay. For the customs of the people are vain. So it says their custom, their tradition, their holidays, their vain is worthless. It doesn't mean anything, right? Because God didn't give us the the customs that the heathens did, right? Let's read. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. So we're talking about a custom of the heathen. The way that they do this custom is they take the tree out of the forest, right? The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. Uh -huh. They deck it with silver and with gold. So they take the tree into their house and they deck it with silver and gold. What holiday does that sound like? Automatic Christmas. Let's say of the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. So we just read about, what holiday did we just read about? Oh, we just read about how the maid of heaven and how they, um... oh. Remember, what holiday were we talking about? Remember about the tree? We were talking about what? Christmas. Okay, so it says learn not the way. So that means don't do it. So the Bible is basically telling you to not celebrate Christmas. You, do you understand that? Yeah. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 15, and verse 3. But he answered and said unto them, Why do you also transgress the commandment of God by your tradition? So it says, why do you break the commandments of God by your tradition, the tradition of men? Right? Because we, we just interviewed a couple of sisters just now, and they say, hey, this is our tradition, this, that, that, that. But it's like, if the Bible says don't do it, why are you doing it? Yeah. If you believe in Christ, you, you claim you believe in Christ. When has Christ ever celebrated Christmas? It just never happened. So that's why we're here. We're just here to shed some light. No you know, I mean, we got we got some flyers for you. And provide me that confirmation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. It, it, was, it was no coincidence we ran into you today, man. Hey, so, and, uh, is that in the Bible? Yes, that's in the Bible. The Bible says Christmas is celebrate Christmas? Yes, I'm mistaken. What if I told you, and what if I showed you that Christmas is not in the Bible and it's actually not supposed to, the Bible says don't celebrate it at all? Yes, yeah, something. Okay, so look, let me get Jeremiah 10. Because Josh, you got a, you got a strong name, Josh. That's that's um one of our forefathers, right, Joshua. And so let's see what the Bible says about celebrating Christmas. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter ten, verse two. Thus saith the Lord: Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. So at this time, right, they we were, they were keeping customs that were against God, that God told us not to keep, that were not you know were not against were God's laws, right? So let's let's see what it says. For the customs of the people are vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen within the axe. So what, what holiday did we celebrate where you cut a tree out of the forest and put it in your house? Christmas. Okay, let's see what it says. They deck it with silver and, and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. So, so they take this tree out of the forest, they put it in their house, and they put gold and silver around it. You know, you, you heard, have you heard about that before? I heard that before. What's that called? Uh, ain't that like an idol? Christmas, yeah, it's an idol, exactly. So they deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. So, so they decorate the tree, silver and gold. They put it on. They fasten it to the ground so it doesn't move around. So that's sounds like what holiday does it sound like to, to you, Miss Lillian? Well, that's a pagan thing, but we do a lot of things that's pagan. A whole lot. So no, I agree. One thing, you know, it's in the heart that counts. It's right. believing that counts. You know, you ain't supposed to eat certain things, but you do, don't you? You're not okay. supposed to wear wool. That's in the Bible. Okay. The so, mixed fabrics, so don't take you, one thing out I'm of sure it. But I'm sure you got mixed fabrics on right now. Right. So, so I, I, so everything. There's a lot of things that we do do that's pagan. Right. You're right. You're right. But right now we're talking about Christmas, though. You know what I mean? Let's let's stay on the topic. But, I mean, but that's why because there are things there. Are, we're talking about Christmas because it's Christmas time. If it wasn't Christmas time, we wouldn't be talking about Christmas. If it was Christmas, we'd be talking about Thanksgiving, we'd be Easter, it'd be Valentine's Day. All these things are pagan and rooted. It could be what the fabric of your clothes are. It could be anything. It could that's be eating that's any 
um, animal with uh, cloven hoofs. It could be um, eating pork. It could be eating fish with our scales. Right. It could be eating seafood. It could be anything. Right. So don't pick one thing. It's all it is Just all the things. So no, I, I you're, you're, you guys are on point. So my question is, why do you do any of those things? Do you, you do those things? We're human, and we can't be perfect. So you cannot eat pork. Eat, you eat. Uh, that's good. Well, that's good. So, if you don't eat pork, cause it's wrong, right? It's bad. So neither is Christmas, though. Christmas never hurt me. Mmm. Okay. All right, cuts from the streets in D.C. and we were out here today, showing the people the pagan origins of Christmas. How you think you went today? Yeah, man, it was crazy. Um, had a lot of people very angry. No, they're not. The blacks in this mansion, are not the twelve tribes of Israel. Yes, we are. No, not. Yes, we are. Yes. yes Where's the black? You tell There's me. no such thing as black. It's there, exactly, that's the point. But you call yourself the black. The Bible says there is, there is in the kingdom we're all the same. There's no okay, Jew, what scripture you got? Gentile, what scripture Greek, you got? Scythian, free, born, man, you can read all. We're in agreement though, right? No, we're not. No. Not at all. Not even close. <laughs> hey, hopefully they got some understanding of this. We came out here to cast down imaginations. They were cast down. Lord's where they take heed. And the Lord obviously got the, got the victory. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Oh!